Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiator and Eastern Antique Arms and this is a really quick video, honestly a quick video for me um, and it's to show you something that um, I have had one of before but they're relatively rare things to come across and uh, it's a sword, you might be thinking what's unusual about this, it's a sword, it's a sabre, it's a British military sword, what's unusual about that on Matt's channel? Well as you may be able to see the guard is leather. Well, it's not actually. The guard is steel, but it's leather covered. So let's just have a little bit of a quick, uh, quicker look at this. This is actually an item which is going to be <clears throat> probably uh, listed on anti, uh, Eastern Antique Arms um, for sale. You can see it's got a very, very nice conditioned blade. In fact, it's um, got the owner's initials and crest on that side. It's the 1845 type blade, um, which uh, Wilkinson supposedly. Um, sort of invented or at least promoted in 1844 and 45 and it became regulation for um, cavalry and uh, infantry and royal engineers and artillery officers in 1845 um, so it became the standard officer style blade and in fact stayed in use um, for all branches of the service until 1892 uh, for the infantry um, until uh, 1912 for the cavalry and um, <clears throat> until 1892 for the Royal Engineers and it's still in use today for the Royal Artillery. Um, so it's a cut and trust blade. There's, I've spoken about these blades. If you look on Eastern Antique Arms incidentally there is a uh, kind of articles section on the research page and you can find an article about the 1845 style um, blade. But the hilt um, is a steel hilt which we can't actually tell the style of because it's hidden inside the leather casing which I'll talk about in a second. My um, expectation and assumption is that the hilt or the, the guard rather in there is probably the um, a steel version of the um, what's sometimes known as the cinder regular cavalry pattern or the um, scroll hilt it's also known as it's also the pattern that was used by the Royal Engineers um, and uh, non-regulation by other officers as well um, so I suspect that that's a steel scroll hilt inside there but it has been leather cased. One thing I should mention as well before I talk about this leather casing is that the blade uh, dates to the 1860s um, but the hilt is clearly later. Um, this style of leather covering is something that we, um, although we don't see it done very often, it seems to be as something really kind of of the 1890s. Um, and in fact this hilt, we can tell it's been replaced in the 1890s because this back strap as you can see there is fully checkered and it is the 1895 style or pattern back strap. Um, so this style of um, hilt wouldn't have existed on this type of 1860s period blade. So it's the reuse of an earlier blade in a period when the straight thrusting blade, the dumbbell section blade had come in, someone preferred the old Wilkinson style cut and thrust blade, um, as I would as well, to be honest. Um, but the hilt is very, very good. This fully checkered back strap gives a very, very good secure grip and it's probably a scroll hilt in there. Some people might go, well, it, why isn't it the 1895 pattern guard? Well, you can just kind of tell from the outline of it. I handle a lot of these swords. My, my firm belief is that is the scroll hilt inside there. Um, right, so now onto the leather covering. So let's have a little bit of a look of it. I'll clo um, get it up close to the camera there. There we go. And you can see that it's very finely shaped and stitched all around inside and out. And it's got very, very fine, good quality um, stitching around the edges um, on again on the inside and the out and it goes all the way down just move the sword knot out of the way that's to put around your put your hand through so you can't lose the sword um, in combat and uh, we can just about see the steel of the guard peeking out at the bottom there but it comes all the way down to the bottom so very very briefly I did promise a brief video this is obvious what that is this is leather covering over a steel guard why? Well, that's the question, isn't it? And I'm actually not going to give a definitive answer because we don't know. There is no written source from that period saying definitively why some people did this. 
I suspect it's partly for um, anti-glare um, in places like the Boer War, um, where you're, you've got snipers shooting at you, perhaps even Afghanistan. Um, so it could be anti-glare. It could just be to make the guard, uh, to sort of protect the guard from the elements if you're in... Uh, harsh conditions perhaps with a lot of rain or snow or something like that to kind of make almost weatherproof the sword it could even be um because um and i've spoken about this previously hilts can get very hot and this is mentioned in period sources hilts can get very hot and it's therefore uncomfortable if your hand comes against them if they're in the sun in south africa or somewhere like that and they get very very hot to the touch so it could be protected from that it could just be because they like the look of it. Um, it could be because they, their Sam Brown equipment is all leather and they wanted the sword to kind of match in with the gun holster and the belts and the ammo pouches and everything else. Who knows? Um, but it, it is not a unique thing. I, I know that there are that you come across them every now and again. I've only ever won owned one other example, but I, I have known other people who've had um, other examples. And they can be... You can find it on cavalry swords, infantry swords, and any other, even um, royal artillery swords. So you can find it on any model of sword. Uh, even the three-bar hilts and the leather covers the gaps and essentially forms like a shell hilt over uh, blocking in the gaps, as it were, between the three bars of the hilt. Anyway, there we go. A very interesting sword. I thought it would give, give you a glimpse of it. And um, if you keep an eye on Eastern Antique Arms, this very well may be coming up for sale soon. Um, and... An interesting and unusual form of um, uh, sword hilt, and you do find it, you find French hilts, incidentally, I should mention. The French swords also sometimes do this. It's not only British swords. Um, an interesting sort of uh, facet and, and niche of, um, of 19th century sword design. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give us a like if you found this uh, interesting. Subscribe if you haven't done already, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Cheers, folks! Thanks for watching. We've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, folks.